Good morning, and welcome back to my journey attempting to cross Latvia on my unicycle along the Baltic Forest Trail. I'm currently cycling with a guy called Silvo, and he's also touring on a unicycle. And last night we camped together in a very pretty forest after a fun day of riding on beaches and wooden walkways. And I'm looking forward to seeing what fun we get up to today. Nice. Good morning. Today I promised Ed that we will be moving by 10.30, <laughs> which is earlier than what I do. Usually I fight to be moving by 12, but because I'm a man of my world, today we're gonna do it, because when you believe in your dream, you can do anything. <laughs> okay, get up. <laughs> I was now just under 400 kilometers into my 674 kilometer ride across the country. Last night, Sylvan and I had camped smack bang in the middle of Kemery National Park. And from here, the trail would route us straight through this beautiful raised corridor of trees. I mean, like this juggling club, it's funny because they are useless and useful at the same time. No, it's nice to have something like this. Let's be honest, I almost never juggle with them. Such a cool power to have something that you can give but cost you nothing. The evening before, we'd seen mileage markers dotted along the trail for what we'd assumed was some race happening soon. So as we packed up and began pushing onwards that morning, we were curious to find out what it was all about. What is the event today? Today is... Uh, Tour. It's uh, the walking trip. Tram Tours, we are organizing the trips in different places. So you have to choose. Uh, we are just going 15 kilometers. Ah, so 15. green is 15. 15, yes. Then yellow 27 and red 37. You can see some sights, but you yeah. don't lose. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we saw the small arrow yeah. everywhere. That's yes, why yes, we're yes, curious. Yes. So, so this is. Water. Oh, yeah, yeah, that way. That So, when you have started your trip? Uh, three months ago. Uh, yeah. No, I traveled for minutes. 18 years. <laughs> all summer. <laughs> yeah, all summer. Boop, boop, boop. We cannot take a look at the thing. Yeah, 15 <laughs> kilometers. Oh, only three hours or four hours. <laughs> it's good too, you know. It's yes. good too. Hello. 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 We found ourselves going against the flow of traffic. There's a lot of people going against us on the trail, which is it's lovely, saying hello to a lot of people. Um, but it means that even the sections that might be rideable here it just would seem pretty antisocial to try and ride. So, we're just enjoying the walk. Hi, Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. As fun as it was seeing people out and about, it was a relief when we finally left the walking route and had the trail to ourselves once again. We could now attempt to ride, although out here, that's definitely easier said than done. Are you good this? Yeah, nice. You know, the trail is fun, but sometimes it's just nice to be able to get on a, on a road like this and actually break out some speed. And when I say speed, I mean like, I doubt we're doing more than about 10 miles an hour at the moment. The problem with the two of us is we're both like so into the filming uh, that we're spending a lot of time just stopping and getting getting these shots but it takes quite a lot of time out of the day um, it's worth it but it just means that it's uh, more difficult to get distance done if this series has inspired you to pick up your own unicycle then you're in luck because unicycle.com in the uk have agreed to give viewers of this channel five percent off any unicycle site-wide if you use my code prat5
So whether you like the look of my mountain unicycle, Sylvan's big wheeled 36er, or just want to try one of their many beginner unicycles, you can now receive a discount on all of them. I'll leave links in the description below. We've arrived at some kind of mini golf place. It's good timing because this is literally the last of my water. But we were, yeah, we first saw this sort of upside down house that sort of took our attention. And then we saw there was actually something going on here. The woman at the reception would very kindly let us sort of charge our stuff here. I bought some barbecue nuts. And I think we're just going to sit here and chill out for a little while, let stuff charge, let ourselves recharge, and then we'll get back on the road. It's been a good day so far. Well, I was going to happen at some point. I've just noticed that I've got my first tick of the trip. So we're gonna we're gonna pull him out. It's gonna rip him apart. God, you probably not the nicest footage in the world. Great success. We're really having a great mix of different surfaces today, and all have been like relatively sort of rideable. Silva is. Uh, it's doing great. You know, riding a 36er through this stuff is hard, hard work. That's the reason why I went for a smaller wheel for this trip, because this kind of rough terrain, varied terrain, it is so much easier to ride on a smaller wheel. You just have so much more control. And the issue that, uh, that he's been facing as well is that because he's sitting that little bit taller, uh, he's finding there's a lot of branches and and stuff that's sort of in the way, that's sort of hitting him in the face, which is, is funny, but it's also frustrating when you just want to be able to ride and not sort of stop and start all the time. You know, if you ride a, a two-wheel bike, you don't really have this issue. Whereas the real challenge of riding on terrain like this is mounting on terrain like this. The actual riding is generally pretty okay compared to the sort of many attempts it can take to, to mount on stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna try and catch up with him. <laughs> so we're now coming into the village of Mildskalne. Something like that, I'm sure I'm butchering it. It looks very quaint, so we're gonna check it out. And it was quaint. They had a lovely little square, and bizarrely, a museum of old vehicles, which was the last thing we expected to see, but was cool all the same. Yeah, for me, it's crazy seeing like all this machine. It's like 1930s, it's like, less than 100 years old. The path away from Mills Carne was far from ideal, and after pushing through some of the more boggy sections we'd encountered, the tough nature of what we were doing was starting to take its toll. Okay, I just lay down for 10 minutes, and then I'm just gonna get to a point, and even if we get to good road, I'm just not gonna be able to free mount it anymore. <laughs> that's the moment when my nap couch is extremely useful. Yeah. Show me your nap couch. <laughs> <laughs> you ask for a nap, boom. In the middle, they called me the nap king. Oh. Oh, yeah. How's the trail been treating you? <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. It's quite intense. tiring work walking on these trails. Yeah, we're both starting to get pretty knackered here. They're not smooth, but I already knew that. Uh, we're about sort of a kilometre, a little bit less from a road, and that's where the, uh, the Baltic Forest Trail goes. We'll be able to follow the road into Tukum. We want to get some food. Go for the food. It's my only goal, the food. And then we want to get out of the city and find somewhere to camp. That is the plan. And that's the reason we're kind of pushing at the moment. Just want to get somewhere to camp. But we really do need to get a little bit of food and fill up our water bottles, if possible. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, yes, yeah, this way. So road, bit of main road. Okay, so we get to this junction. Okay, easy. Yo, that's nice to be on asphalt. Holy. It's just approaching seven o'clock, but we are just finally coming into Tukum. And here there's gonna be a, a veritable selection of shops that we can get food from. But we're aiming for the Lidl. Because I haven't been to a Lidl the whole time I've been in this country and I'm very excited to see one. And I'm gonna find cheese and I'm gonna buy a lot of cheese. We deserve it! Oh feels good. Feels are you happy? Yeah, fair. Oh, obvious. <laughs> Look at what Ed is eating. This is probably the most British things I've seen in a while. Just baked bean, cold, all this food. Living the life, my friends. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it was a bit of a, a drive by through Tukum. I'm sure it's a lovely place, but uh, we basically just saw the little. Uh, I've got probably more food than I, I should have bought, but that's the problem when you go to a supermarket when you're hungry. We're now just trying to push out. There is one of these like official camping spaces in about three kilometers. So that is our aim. Didn't really want it to get this late and it's now getting dark, which is getting a bit dodgy because we haven't really got the, uh, the proper lights. But there we go. Look at that! It's beautiful! Oh my god, yeah, this is impossible. No, no. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. Trigger. No, no, look at this. Okay. Don't, don't worry about, like, you know, me, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not, like, angry at you or anything. It's just, like, at some point, like, brain just shut down a lot of the non-vital function. Yeah, no, I get it. It's been a very long day. I don't, I don't know what we're coming into to be honest. This is, much, this is much more built up than I thought it was going to be. I think the campsite is sort of, I think it might be that one. Sorry? I think the campsite is this one. But this is not what I was picturing, unfortunately. Oh, someone is coming, maybe we can ask. Yeah. Sveiki! <laughs> oh, <this is> interesting. <laughs> um, a, a tent, yes? Yeah, we're looking for somewhere to put the tents. This is a camping, camping yeah, space. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Uh, go here. Uh. <laughs> Me, I have hammock. Uh, we'll find, yeah. Uh, Just over you, here. You must. Um, you can go here. Uh, tent here built. Or, or then. Uh, th that part. So beside the building uh, or yeah, up yeah, here? Yeah, yeah up, or up there. Okay. Yeah. Now you've got very good do guard dogs. <laughs> looking after your place. Oh. Hello. 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 You're okay. You okay now? Fair. Hey. Yeah, you're okay now. Where exactly we'd turned up at, I guess we'd find out in the morning. But it was a relief to finally be able to stop for the day. And this is basically dinner tonight. Neither of us can be asked to cook, so this is it. But to be honest, I'm looking forward to these spicy kidney beans. They sound great. If you'd like to watch the next three videos of this series, they're uploaded right now over on my Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.